This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Vanish Valley Lost Town Stout with peanut butter. So, haven't done a Vanish, I haven't done any uh, reviews in a long time, so I'm back on the wagon. I never fell off the wagon, I never stopped drinking. Just haven't done any reviews in a long time. Their Lost Town Stout is a milk stout uh, with, it's a milk, a chocolate milk stout, I should say, uh, brewed with cocoa nibs and um, vanilla beans. And then it makes a great base that they add other flavors to. And this is a repeat. They had done this one once before, and then it just came out a couple of weeks ago with the peanut butter. So let's go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. Easy for me to say. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments. Because we're Go ahead and give it a nice pour here. I've had this for about a week. I've kind of been holding it. Partly because we had a big party to go to last weekend. It is 5% ABV. I got absolutely no head out of this, uh, but it's been sitting in a bottle for a week or so, so I might have lost a little bit of its carbonation. Uh, there actually is a fair amount of bubbles along the outside of the glass. It is pitch black like a stout should be, cannot see a thing through it. And typically, sometimes you get, I am. Sometimes you get a little bit of actually peanut oil on the top of this beer when you pour it. I don't see that tonight. Let's do the aroma. Definitely get the peanut butter. The peanut butter is by far the most upfront thing on the nose. I also got a hint of the vanilla. A little bit of black coffee. Maybe a little bit of the uh, chocolate, almost like chocolate milk. All in all, a lot of flavors coming up through the aroma on this. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah. Again, I've had this before, I know what to expect, but it's just, it's just delicious. So. Let's go ahead and work our way through it. The first taste you get is like a little bit of black coffee. It actually also ends that way a little bit too, a little bit bitter on the back end. It's a little thin for a stout. Doesn't have that really rich creaminess that you'd expect. Well, not that you expect it, but some stouts have. So, so but it's a little bit on the thin end. And then you immediately get the, the peanut butter. And it tastes, really tastes almost like a spoon of peanut butter. You take a spoon of beaten peanut butter and put it right on your tongue. I mean, there's no, there's no hint of peanut butter. There's no, this is a peanut butter beer. The chocolate is fairly, in the, fairly much in the background. Don't get a lot of the black. Actually, you know what I get? I get a little bit of black coffee at the back end, in the back of the throat. It's just fantastic. If you like peanut butter, if you don't like peanut butter, or if you're allergic to peanuts, you have to stay away from this beer. But, if you like peanut butter, and you like a nice stout, or you're looking for a good dessert beer, you cannot go wrong with this beer. Score-wise, we will give this a 92 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.